everyone, it's Pearl, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated tutorial on how to make a Roblox GFX. So I've done one of these a few months ago, but it was really badly explained and very complicated for beginners GFX. So this one's going to be a lot more simple and hopefully a lot more easy to follow. So what you need to do is open up Roblox Studio, and when you're there, select the base play option. So once you're loaded in, there are two things you will need open. So what you need to do is head to the View tab and make sure that you have the toolbox and the explorer page open to get those open just click toolbox and click game explorer so once you have those both open what you need to do is get the plugin called load character so if you have it installed it'll already pop up but if you don't have anything here that's okay i'll show you how to get it in the toolbox click the models button and change it to plugins there are so many options you can get but we only need one and it is called load character so make sure you get the free version so just click it and click install i already have it but if you don't just install it so then come to the top where it says plugins and click load character but now you need to import your character or the character of whoever you want to make a gfx for and for this tutorial click spawn r6 so now your character will spawn in the very middle of your base plate go to the rotate tool and rotate your avatar around now you can import whatever else you want if you want an accessory i think this is good for now but you can import anything else you want so once you're all set right click and come to the bottom where it says export selection and then this will come up i'll just call this gfx tutorial and then save it i'm going to save this to my desktop so once you have it selected just click the save button in the description i will have this page linked and we need to download Blender 2.79. So it's not the newest version, which I can make a tutorial on how to use that. But for now, we're just going to use an older version. So come down where it says download Blender 2.79B. And this page will show up. So first you need to know what kind of computer you have. I'm on the Mac. I'm going to find the part where it says Blender 2.79B and then like the Mac. And I personally prefer zip files, so I would download that. So once you have it downloaded, just open it up and you should be all good to go. In the description, there will be a few more links to something called a rig. So rig is a gray base that you can use and apply your avatar's texture on top of. They help make your limbs bend so much smoother. So in the description, there are three rigs I will have linked. This one called the woman rig, which is for the woman bodies, and that's what I'll be using today. There's a man rig for the man bodies, and then a blocky rig for blocky bodies. So you can download all of them or any of them. And once you are on the page, just click the download button. So now open up Blender. And when you first open up Blender, there'll be a pop-up on the screen. Just click anywhere and it should go away. But then at the top, click Blender Render and change it to Cycles Render. So then at the top, come to File, then click Open. Go to your Downloads, find the rig. There should be a folder that says Roblox Rig underscore woman. Click that. Then click the folder that says Rig. And then it should say default blend. Double click it and it should be imported. Now we need to move around. So to move around, click shift and F at the same time. And then use A, S, W, D to move around. As well as Q and E to go up and down. Move into the face. And you basically want to delete everything here. You want to select something, right click. And then press shift in order to select multiple things at once. So select the head and the two eyes. And then I'm going to use shift F again to move. And select both teeth and the tongue. Once you have that selected, you need to delete it. So click X and then click delete. Now we have the base, but as you can see, our character doesn't have any texture. But to add texture, just select any of the limbs. Once you have a limb selected, at the top there should be these three lines. You'll know you have them selected when your mouse forms a plus sign. So drag them down. Once you have them dragged down, click the cube on the side and change it to node editor. Now you have this. This should pop up. I know it looks kind of confusing. Zoom in until you can see this rectangle that says image texture. Click this folder button, then go to your desktop or wherever you save the GFX and you should find a file that says your username and then either like one, two, or three text. Find the highest number, so mine is only one. Now your character has texture, but it's still missing a head. To import your head, click File, and instead of clicking Open, you want to click Import, then Wavefront.obj. Then again, go to your desktop or wherever you saved it, and import your file. There should be two different versions of your file. The first one will say .mtl, and the second one will say .obj. Make sure that you're importing the one that says .obj. So now your character has imported. As you can see, your avatar is color, but it's quite dark, and colors aren't super vibrant. At the bottom, click this little circle where it says texture and change it to material. Now you're a lot brighter. So the next thing is to click object, then transform and origin to geometry. This will help 
is rotating and moving objects to keep them in the same place. If you're not already on the move tool, which is this arrow at the bottom, make sure you're there, and then you can just move your character over. So now what you need to do is right click and select all of the body parts you don't want. That includes the arms, the legs, the torso, and then if you don't want a certain accessory, don't want this purse on this GFX, I'm going to select that as well and then press X to delete. Now I want to select the head. Now let's say I could select all of these, but let's say you have a big group of things that you want to select. Press B and then click and drag to select them. So as you can see, now all of my avatar's head is selected. Now I want to join them to make them one object. So go to tool and click join. So I know there were a lot of steps, but that is basically just how you merge all of your head together. Now you can use the arrow tools, which again are at the bottom, to drag them over on top of the rig. Once your avatar has a head, we now need to move the pose. Select any of these like black wires on the rig, come to the bottom where it says object mode, and select pose mode. So now this is where you're able to pose your avatar. There's a lot of different wires. I'll explain what they all do. These ones are all for the feet. You don't really need these circle ones, but this zigzaggy one is to move the foot. These around the knees are to bend the knees. These two are to bend the individual legs. This one is to bend both legs. These little ones are for the hands. We have one for the wrist, the elbow, the arms, the upper body, and I believe that is them all. Oh, and down here, this is if you want to select the entire rig and move it all at once. So for mine, I'm just going to have my avatar in a quite simple pose. So let's say I want to bend her arm. I'm going to right click to select the wire, then use the rotate tool at the bottom, and now this will come up. Now use these different lines around the axes to bend the arms and limbs. Use the upper arms and bend those as well. And I'm also going to bend this arm. Now my arms are in a very simple pose, so I'm going to bend the legs as well. My legs have been bent, so now I'm going to use this green one right here in the middle to tilt the body over just a little bit, and I also want to rotate the head. Now my avatar is in the pose I want her to be in. The next thing we need to do is set it up so that it'll be ready to render. What you need to do is come down to the bottom where it says add, click that, and click camera. Then click view, and click camera. So now use the same keys as we did before to move around. Now as you can see, ours is a rectangle, but let's say I want to make mine a square. Click the camera button on the side and change the dimensions to 10,000 by 10,000. So now we can have a square and I'll put mine right there. I think this is a good spot for it. The next thing is to change this as from 15% to 20%. I know that's quite a low number, but it just renders it so much faster. I wouldn't recommend going much lower though, otherwise the quality will not be good at all. Scroll down a bit more then you'll see a button that says ffmpeg video we don't want ours to be a video we want ours to be a picture so click png and then click rgba to make sure it's in full color so the next thing is to decide do you want your picture to have a transparent background so it's kind of like a sticker that you can apply onto a thumbnail or anything else or do you want it to have a certain color background for this one i'm going to give mine i think a color background so i'm going to head over to the globe tool first thing i'm going to do is click ambient inclusion even if you have a transparent background still do this this just adds bright light now i'm going to head into the render view by clicking this orange ball and clicking render this just allows me to see what my GFX will look like when it's all done. Like I said, you can either make it a transparent background, or if you go back to the globe where it's gray, just drag up the colors, and I'll do a blue for mine. Once you're all set, go back to the camera button, scroll back up, and click render. Now, just give it a few minutes, and it should be rendered. I'll be right back when it's all done. It is finally done rendering, so once it's all done, what you need to do is come to the bottom where it says image, click that, and then click save as image. At the top, give it whatever name you want, and then save it. And as you can see, we are now done with our GFX, so now I would go in and probably change the brightness a bit, and just mess around with some editing, but this is the simple tutorial on how to make a Roblox GFX. I hope this video helped you. If it did, let me know in the comments, and I know you guys really want an animation tutorial. I'll be trying to work on that this week, hopefully. Thank you for watching. Bye, pearls!